Hey guys, this is Aaron from Punks for Progress. I uh, have a, about a half hour, kind of two part report. Um, starting off with, I had the immense honor of being able to carry the front sign uh, with Refuse Fascism today as part of the uh, Resist Contingent at the Pride March in San Francisco. And uh, so I got a bunch of video from that and kind of the build up to it and a few of the speeches at the beginning and uh, just the march itself, which was immensely fun. Um, you know, spent a lot of time marching and being pissed off. And uh, today was cool. Today was cool to be able to still march about something I'm pissed off, but as a part of a celebration. And it was just really, again, a, a real honor. And I really want to thank everybody from uh, Refuse Fascism and Revolution Books and stuff. And, uh, you know, for putting all that together and making that happen and working with the people from the Pride Parade. Um, I should point out um, that we didn't just kind of crash the Pride Parade. Um, this year, the organizers of the Pride Parade decided that they wanted um, up front uh, the resist contingent. Um, not necessarily right up front. There was lots of bikers, you know, the kind of uh, dikes on bikes and that kind of thing was right up front. But um, directly behind that front, like, barrage of noise, right behind him was us with our barrage of noise. And you'll see we had, uh, you know, uh, uh, PA system that we were rolling down the road with. And uh, it was just, it was an incredible experience. So I um, hope you enjoy uh, hanging out with it. <laughs> and, um, and then the second part of it is when that was over, I went in and on uh, Wednesdays and Sundays, um, the uh, Prisoners Literature Project um, invites people to come down to um, the Grassroots House and write letters and they have a full library of books that have been donated and um, that you can pack up the books that prisoners actually call uh, write letters and um, request specific stuff and we try to track it down and send it to them. It was a really, really cool experience and I got a little interview with Alex who was facilitating the whole thing there today and um, basically that wraps up the video. So um, enjoy and make sure that if you do, you subscribe to our channel, Punks for Progress. Make sure you hit us up on the Facebook and like and share our stuff there. And then, uh, of course, you can hit us up on the tweeters. So cool. Thanks, guys. In this country, 
so strong that this regime is forced out of office. Not in 2018, not in 2020, but right now. That is what humanity needs. So if you haven't, if you're not already signed up with Refuse Fascism, make sure you get signed up. Come to our organizing meeting on Tuesday. We're planning major national protests on July 15th, and we're gonna get do it right here in San Francisco too.
Hey guys, this is Aaron from Punks for Progress. I'm here at the Grassroots House where I just had the opportunity to write letters and package up books to prisoners all over the country as part of the Prisoner's Literature Project. And so I am here with Alex from the Prisoner Literature Project. And I'm here with Alex from the Prisoner, Prisoner's Literature Project. So say hey Alex. Hey. And um, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Prisoner Literature Project is, kind of when it started, a little bit of just basic rundown of the history. Yeah, so uh, it's been going on for over 30 years now. Um, basically, we're an all-volunteer nonprofit group that yeah, sends books to prisoners free of charge all across the country. Um, all our books are donated, well, majority of our books are donated. Um, yeah, we, it's, it's basically, we believe that Access to literature is a right, not a privilege, and uh, prisons tend to treat it like a privilege. So, so uh, estimated total, how many books do you think the Prisoner's Literature Project has sent out to prisoners so far? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> so we were just talking about this inside, so it's like, what, like uh, 250 a month over, so 12 months over 30 years. Math numbers. Wow. A lot. Wow. That's great. So, um... Where, where do your books, where do you get your books from? Uh, yeah, so most of them are donated, um, either just dropped off here at Grassroots House or Moe's Books in Berkeley or Bound Together Books in the city. Okay, so we have a lot of listeners that aren't from the Bay Area. Is there other places where they can get involved with Prisoner Literature Project? Um, I mean, you know, there's our website, um, which I believe is just prisonlit.com. Um, you can, you know, find out about us. Um, we have a you know PayPal donations and stuff. There's but there's also um, a lot of other books to prisoners organizations uh, across the country. So if you're wanting to get involved in something like this, just kind of look up, try to find something in your area. You know uh, there might be one. That so might just be. Uh, like Google, just prisoner projects yeah, or books something. For prisoners project. Books for prisoner project. Yeah. Okay. And but our listeners and viewers can donate to mm -hmm. the Prisoner Ledger Project. Could yep. you explain how they would go about doing that? Um, yeah, so on our site, which uh, they, we will have a like PayPal donate button, um, and yeah, that helps us pay for postage and stuff. And like I said, we're all volunteer run. No one's getting paid. Every cent that we get is going towards getting books to prisoners. Excellent. Excellent. So... Um, when do you hold the Prisoner's Literature Project here at Grassroots? What times, what days? Um, so Sundays from 2 to 5 and Wednesdays from 6.30 to 9.30. Excellent. And is there anything that people need to bring if they want to come and volunteer? Not at all. You just drop in, bring yourself. Uh, you can stay for as little as long as you want. It's very chill, you know, no real commitment that you need to make or anything. Excellent. So uh, I guess any... Last thing you'd like to say to viewers, to prisoners, to anybody? Um, no, not really. I mean, the I don't know, prison system sucks. Uh, do what you can to try to make it better. Absolutely. Man, thanks a lot, bro. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it.